Hello, my dear ethical hackers. In this video, we will be creating a metasploitable virtual machine. Let's get started. We will once again go to our downloads folder and verify that we have got the metasploitable Linux version. Let us extract this, right click, extract to, as usual, we'll extract to the metasploitable 2.0 folder. This will take a much shorter time. It's a small file. And there, guys, you will see that Metasploit has been extracted. We have got all the files there. Let's get started. What we'll do is, once again, we'll go to VMware Workstation Player. Let's double click it. And now we are going to add our second virtual machine for our virtual lab. Let us click on Open a Virtual Machine. We'll go back to the Downloads folder. Select your Metasploitable folder that we have just extracted. Double click. Double click. And this is the file, the only file that is usable. Let us extract this file. Let's click on Open. And there, my dear friends, you can see that we have got our Metasploitable machine ready as well. Let's click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. And 512 MB RAM is the allocated memory. This is enough. We don't need more than this. It's a tool that is going to be used purely for hacking purposes. We are going to use Metasploitable tool strictly for checking the vulnerabilities that we'll think of Metasploitable as a deliberately vulnerable virtual machine. And it is created purely for practicing and for learning the penetration techniques. This tool has been created by Rapid7. These are the creators of the Metasploitable framework. And what this does is it showcases the vulnerabilities of the real world system and it allows ethical hackers and penetration testers like you and me to exploit the weaknesses without actually committing any kind of cyber crime. In other words, you and me will be practicing our hacking skills using the Metasploitable framework. So here we are, we can just see that we have got a network adapter NAT. You probably have a host only adapter as well. Uh, if you do not have, please install it. You have to click on add and you have to add the host only and then go to the network adapter and add the third one as well. That is the bridged. The click on replicate and click on OK. And you will see that let's go to edit virtual machine settings and you will see that we have all the network adapters installed as well, just like we did for Kali Linux, we have made sure that we have got three network adapters for our Metasploitable 2.0 virtual machine as well. Okay, let's click on OK here. And now we are ready to have a dry run of our Metasploitable machine. Let us click on Play Virtual Machine. He's asking me whether you copied it or moved it. I'll say I copied it. That's it. And there, guys, you can see that your Metasploitable is ready for use. The username for this one is MSF Admin. The password is MSF Admin. It's written right there. Let us click inside it. MSF Admin. I'm pressing Enter. The password will not be displayed. MSF Admin. I'm pressing Enter. And there we are logged in. Now you will observe that you will not be able to use the mouse in the Metasploitable framework. And sometimes you feel as if you are stuck, you are lost here. You press Ctrl and Alt and now you will be able to release the mouse. Ctrl and Alt to release the mouse. If you press the mouse button inside, you will be able to type inside the framework, but you will not be able to use the mouse. All right. Once again, I'm just pressing Ctrl Alt to come out. And that's it for this exercise. I'm just 
shutting this down you just click over here and you choose shut down guest and that's it you just say yes and we are closing down our metasploitable vm in the next video we are going to see how we can install our windows virtual machine see you in the next video